everyone welcome back to my channel now for those of you who don't know what's going on right now basically this video i'm going to be doing today is my four year anniversary on hormones this is obviously not your typical asmr video so for those of you who are expecting one i'm sorry one of those videos will be coming up tomorrow night but this video specifically today is just aimed at my four year anniversary on hormones because i've been on hormones for four years and uh, I just want to go through over some things that you might not know about me, obviously body changes and things like that or over what's been happening over the course of the last year. So basically what's been happening is that obviously my voice hasn't changed in any way. That has been obviously trained. Um, I have not gone to see any professionals whatsoever. This is through singing and through just basically casual 10 minute training every day. And yeah, that's practically what I do for voice training. But um, other sides to do with like body changes and things like that. So obviously, as you can tell, first thing is my hair. Now, if you look, go back to my three year anniversary and hormones video, you can tell that my hair like used to be up to here. And over the last year, it's like grown probably like this amount. And that's really quite a lot. And um I don't know if you're able to notice, but my body tone as well, like the, the way that I'm shaped, that's obviously changed now in the last year. Um, to do with up here as well, um, there's a lot more like less muscle and stuff now. And, and obviously to do with my biceps, like that's like, I can't go any bigger than that. Um, but every time I do that, for some reason, like I get like a, a strain pain there for some reason. But anyway, um, so yeah, obviously the hairs on my arms, the, the hairs are starting to grow back there. But if you can see, like obviously all my skin's really smooth. And um, over the course of the last year, when I last looked at my video, um, I said that my skin was so soft and so silky and smooth. And that's what um, I was aiming for, as well as to do with breasts as well. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering um, about my breasts, but we'll get onto that in a minute. So, the, regarding my legs, um, my legs, however, have obviously softened up. They have gone like my arms, soft and silky and smooth. I would show you, but um, obviously I'm not very confident with my body at the moment. So, I know I should embrace it, but I, I'm starting to obviously love my body. Do you know what I mean? I'm starting to get used to it. So... Uh, but yeah, obviously my thighs and my hips and stuff have, have filled out more and they've gotten rounder, they've gotten much fatter. Obviously to do with my face as well, my face has gotten a lot more fat in them now. Um, so that's really, really good. And obviously my hands, the sculpture of my hands don't change. And I think it's that your arm growth, they don't change either. Um... What else? Oh, your feet do shrink when you're a male to female, like myself. Um, if you, for example, are a size 10, you will drop to a size 8 in shoe. If you're a size 11, you'll drop to a size 8 or 9, depending on like your, 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 um, your family history and things like that. Uh, obviously, with hairs, my hairs have lessened. They've gotten much, much um thinner and lighter obviously i'm not going to get rid of them permanently but um because obviously you can't the only way you can obviously get rid of hairs permanently is obviously through laser hair surgery um or you know just buying one of those machines and you can go over your hairs to get rid of them permanently but with hormones it does obviously decrease and lessen the growth speed of the hairs but yeah it, it doesn't get rid of them totally has to do with my hair a lot of people do ask about my hair and how much it's grown and they, they say how beautiful it is and stuff but thank you so much for giving me that compliment I really really appreciate it yeah over the course of the last year um it has gotten really really long um actually my psychiatrist told me the other day that she even said oh your hair's getting super long and I was like yeah thank you I know and so yeah anyway with regards to my hair like there's I can feel like, obviously, when I wash it, my hair is, like, super, super silky. And um, it just overall just feels really soft. Sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain to brush 
because it's it's really long and it takes me about like 10 minutes to fully brush my hair um because it's just i don't know i love having long hair don't get me wrong it's just it's a pain to brush and if you really want to know i've actually been growing my hair out for the last 15 years so yeah um i was growing it even through school years and uh, you know i was getting bullied for it in school about growing my hair out and stuff but i let that go by and um you know obviously my school life was really really terrible but yeah, apart from that, like, um, my transition at the moment is on hold because obviously um, a few years ago I got kicked off the gender clinic waiting list because obviously um, I told them the truth that I was self-harming and uh, they said basically I can't be allowed to, to be back on their program until I'm mentally stable enough. And obviously I'm not mentally stable enough right now. So, but I'm learning to get better guys. I'm learning to get on the road. And if you have seen my cuts and scars, I do apologize. Um, I mean, I was gonna wear like a jumper or something, but obviously I like to, you know, I, I like to embrace my scars. I like to, you know, show that I don't like to show them off. I'm not obviously proud of them, but um, I don't really care if anybody sees my cuts or scars. I mean, it can, it can be obviously, you know, triggering to a lot of people. And I do understand that. Um, and if you do want me to cover up, that's fine. I can just put a top on. But um, yeah, with regards to uh, my legs, my legs and obviously hips and stuff around this area, I will stand up. So like, just give me a sec. So as you can see, um, obviously my bum has gotten a little fatter, uh, a little more round, a little more chunkier. There's definitely a lot more fat on there. Um, and obviously the sides. Um, like right the hair. I've got a lot more chubby around the sides. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, um, about my boobs then. So over the course of the last two years, two and a half years, um, I have seen a massive, massive difference and a lot of people have been saying to me, are your boobs fake? Are they real? Like, did you get any implants done? Well, <laughs> to ask that question, no, I have not had any surgeries done and I have not had any breast implant plantifications done to my body. I have never had surgery. I don't know what it's like, um, but I'm assuming that it could be very painful. But yeah, with, with my boobs, um, over the course of the two and a half years, I have obviously put a lot, a lot of weight on and it's it's obviously shifted into my boobs and my hips and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so these are obviously are my boobies. I turn to the side. I'm not wearing a bra because I thought it'd be uh, easier to see with no bra on. Um, so yeah, they have come a quite a long way in the last two and a half years um if i pull this down to try and get a cleavage don't know whether you'll be able to see this but there you go and please don't get turned on by this <laughs> but yeah um as you can tell as well I, I i'm quite big you'll think i'm pregnant but i'm not um i do just eat a lot and i need to calm down my eating and start eating healthily but but yeah that's um my boobs are oh, and by the way um i keep getting pains obviously in my left side the left side and right side of my boobs people keep telling me it's obviously just breast growth but i'm not like i'm four years in hormones today you know like the hormone should have like made my boobs stop growing at two years um obviously for others it can be longer it just depends but yeah, obviously they should have stopped growing by now. I'm not complaining, but I just want them to grow a little bit bigger so that I can obviously enjoy them being in a, you know, in, in a, a larger B cup because I'm a 36 to a 38 B right now. And I want them to be a C cup, but I think the only way I'm going to get there is if I obviously have breast surgery and I haven't got the, the funds or the money to have breast surgery right now. But um, hopefully sometime in the near future, I... I can, you know, able to save up and get that done. But until then, I've obviously just got to live with what, what, my, what my body gives me, right? 
but yeah as to do with my hands the body structure and everything they don't change um i really do wish that i had smaller hands because um i i don't really like big hands i like small hands and that's a problem i don't like being tall either i mean um before i started tr uh, my hormones my tr my treatment i was about five i think i've always been five five foot seven and a half so my height as of has not obviously changed with uh, with the medication and stuff but um i wish that the medication would have changed my height and just shrunk me because i just i don't know i just want to be as feminine and girly as possible um because i am a really girly girl and i do like wearing dresses and heels and shoes and that sort of good stuff but yeah um obviously the oils in my hair have gotten a lot smoother and everything but yeah overall i just I love what the hormones have done to me and if it wasn't for my doctors if it wasn't my gps and and other stuff helping me out i would not have gotten this far and to do, obviously on the topic about laser hair removal um i had that done about maybe two and a half three years ago um so i'm looking to actually get one of those um you know what i was talking about before one of those um those laser machines i'm thinking about buying one of them but they're really too expensive at the moment so i'll be saving up to get one of those um, and then so obviously I can just do the whole thing myself. But yeah, that's about it guys really. Um, other than, you know, like I said before about my skin, it's sort of silky and smooth. What really annoys me though, I know I'm got a gibbering on right now, but what really annoys me is the fact that um, I just wish that obviously it has, oh my light's gone off, I just wish that my hair's obviously on my on my arms would never grow back i just don't want hairs anywhere on my body and but anyway i can't help that <laughs> anyway if you all enjoyed thank you for reaching this far and make sure you are sub make sure you sorry i'll start that again <laughs> make sure you are subscribed to my youtube channel if you aren't already like the video and thank you all so much for supporting me it means a lot thank you bye